let's talk slouchy bags. Slouchy bag September. If you're interested in all my slouchy bags, then stay tuned. Before we get started, I want to introduce myself. My name is Andrea. I am on camera and off camera, just depending on if I want to get ready or not. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me at the Babe Cave table. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're at it. And I welcome you to my channel. So this was a community post from Lo Yay Yay, and I will post her video down below her channel. And she said, let's do slouchy September. And me and her had kind of even mentioned something like that before. So I jumped on the bandwagon. And so go ahead and watch Lowe's video as well. Uh, she put this out to content creators to be, you know, slouchy September. So I have several. So let's get started. First, slouchy bag is my American Mercer shoulder bag. And it slouchy just means it has little to no structure, which definitely is this beautiful pink Mercer shoulder bag from American Leather. It is very soft leather. I'll link the video down below. I already talk about this bag, but it is definitely on the slouchy slouchy side <laughs> and I'm just gonna put them up here if I have room you know because they lay flat <laughs> the next one is no surprise either it is my quince hobo and not stuffed it is so very very slouchy so it made it easier for Yoda to paint my gorgeous flower on the side because it just smushed down <laughs> And this is when me and my husband got married, and we're going to be about celebrating in September 23rd, our 12th wedding anniversary. So that's my second one from Quince, and I always have their link down below if you want to purchase. I am affiliated with Quince, and I really, really like the leather of their bags, so I highly recommend Quince bags. The next one is my Kipling backpack. And I believe this color is, it is a Queenie backpack and jaded green tonal. I got it for $39.99 at Marshalls. I believe their Kiplings have gone up to $49.99, but this one I got years ago for the theme park that we're near. I don't gravitate carrying this bag at any other time <laughs> besides the amusement parks or a carnival. You know, this is the perfect comfortable backpack for that. These straps are soft. This is, you know, it's collapsible. So I'm considering this slouchy, even though it's a backpack. I mean, it is definitely slouchy, not structured. I am including my pink, baby pink Longchamp bag because look at this thing. I mean, one, you can fold it. And I also have another one of these. I just brought out this one. So this is definitely a slouchy bag that has no structure. I always have to either fold it up or put stuffing in it to make it even stand up. The next slouchy bag is a hobo bag, and it is Elliot Luca. I got this probably 12 or so years ago, and it has beautiful woven leather with the copper, the gold, and like a almost silver. I love this bag. I tried to sell it, but I really didn't try that hard because I really wanted to keep it. <laughs> So it is gorgeous and I can't seem to get rid of it. 
here is the the strap drops nice again it has the metallic strap drop or straps magnetic closure it has just a cream interior I actually have the original tag and there's the style number it's called Napoli multi and suggested retail I know I didn't pay that much but Elliot Luca tag so I probably paid around a hundred I'd guess but I just I really like this weaving that they did and it's just good quality it's really good quality it's older but beautiful metallic so beautiful slouchy slouchy bag there's the bottom of it I did not show it. And this next one is actually for sale. And it is this bag, which it's an older bag. I'll put up the name here. I always forget what this one is called. The Giant Brass Hardware. Nice shoulder strap. It's a little bit used. Um, some, some of the leather has come off the pools. It's not in the best condition. It's priced accordingly. Um, it has some scars. I've cleaned and conditioned this multiple times. Look at how giant this buckle or the latch is for the, the shoulder strap. Humongous. Very good details for sure. And here is the, this I believe is the front side that has the coach 1941 this is some really soft leather it's just it's kind of turned gray unfortunately a little bit and I've conditioned it multiple times here's the bottom and on the inside smooth zipper the inside is clean it uh had the hang tag inside lost the chain I guess but it's a beautiful interior Here's the tag, in case you're interested. I have it on Poshmark and Mercari for a, a good deal, since it's it's kind of worn in. If you like the worn in look, and you like slouchy, hobo, big hobo, this is the bag for you. It's just, it's really beautiful leather. And there's a little bit of leather coming up there. Yeah, so this is for sale if you're interested. It is black with gold hardware. So that is all my slouchies that fit in this pile. <laughs> and uh, I enjoyed showing off my slouchy bags. Do you have a favorite out of the Elliot Luca, Longchamp, Kipling, Quince? Or American leather. Those are all my slouchy bags. I hope you enjoyed this video of my slouchy hobos and shoulder bags and the Kipling backpack. And if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for? It's free. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. And thank you again for subscribing for all your comments. I love interacting with all of you. I I know a lot of you through your comments. We've talked many a times. So I just want to thank you for that. Don't forget to go over to Lowe's video and watch her slouchy bags, what she has. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!